and our primary put some grease on the seal area just to make sure it slides in properly They should slide in as one. Then uh, I need to figure out how this four goes. So it should be like this. It's located directly underneath these two. Do I have the wrong fork? I don't think so. Why is it showing like that? So I need to lift them back out again. fits on the there and if I push click okay we'll see let's just see so next step is installing this piece along with this one this one I'm gonna put some grease on here as well. I sent I um, went over it with the uh, uh, Scotch Brite pad as well to get rid of the scratches that were on them. So take some grease, just put it on there. Also at the bottom. That should do. Install this fork uh, like so. With this end down into <coughs> our third and fourth gear.
How does this work? So I have the upper ring. Does that fit? See, that needs to be in there, but as it sits right now, I just can't get that thing in. So this is just one big puzzle. Um, <coughs> need to do this differently I think so lift up the assembly once more I'm going to install this bit to slide it in like that. That's better. Um, only thing I'm worried about is <coughs> this thing is jammed up in there. So I need to lift Again, get this fork out of the way, and then drop it into place at the same time. So there you go. There we have it. So now. Seems like I still made a mistake or two. This one. So I had figured it out. The upper one needs to be bef before the lower one. So like this. Quickly because my battery is dying. As you can see, this one right here sits in front of actually this one. And uh, these forks need to be engaged in these slots and these forks need to be engaged in those slots. So now I can take the shaft and hopefully install that one. So after some tinkering and some damaged flesh, I finally figured it out. I got it all set up again. It's, it can shift, it shifts again. So uh, next up is installing our reverse. thing around again uh, the reverse is located in here it has a small pin in this sh little shaft it's meant to fit inside a slot over there so that should fit then our gear um, our gear has this uh, rounded edges on one side of the teeth the others are straight so And I'm back. Um, needed to clear some memory again. And I went ahead and put in the bolt 
and hold the reverse gear selected. So this bolt, I clean it up with some Scotch Bright pads and then degrease it with the brake.